As vaccinations increase and the state reopens, some restaurants are struggling right now to keep up with the demand. And many tell us they are struggling to hire and they're afraid as it gets warmer, it is only going to get worse. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is live in Southington with more on what one business is doing to try to attract some employees. Sharon. Well, Mark and Aaron, Tavern 42 is an example of that. They're usually open on Mondays, but they had to close down today because they are short staffed. The owner tells me she had to do that at her other restaurant as well. The weather's getting warmer and um, I'm anxious to meet with my friends and go out to restaurants outside with my friends. As more people get vaccinated, more people are ready to get back to socializing safely. I'm very excited to go out to dinner and meet with friends. I've already had my, my shots. It should be welcome news for restaurants that are preparing for 100% capacity on May 19th. Instead, some are wondering how they're going to keep up with the demand. What am I going to do? I can't staff my kitchen. How am I going to now staff a 100% capacity restaurant? Both Tavern 42 and Anthony Jackson Southington were closed today because of short staffing. Cheryl Moran says this is the first time in 20 years she's had to do so. She says they're hiring for almost every position in the front and the back of the house. And we've got customers who want to come in. They love us and, and we're so grateful and we're so like fortunate and we can't serve them. Moran says many other restaurants are experiencing the same struggle. She's offering new employees $500 bonuses if they complete at least three months with them. The last thing I want to do is to have to shut down a restaurant because I can't staff it. So many restaurants are citing the unemployment benefits under the American Rescue Plan as the reason for this staffing shortage. Live in Plantsville tonight, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.